Yes, sir. Rise and grind. Back at you with another video with the Pull Up King. All right, this video we got a 2013 Lincoln MKZ 3.7 V6. We doing the CV axles on it, both sides in the front. Been on the road. Been on the road. A lot of material, a lot of repairs to show y'all. I'm gonna show you how we gonna get this out. See, we got those two bolts back there. Let's get it. We have it most, man. We have it most, we have it most. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. Hey, we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'm gonna ride for this, I'm gonna grind for this, I did time for this. I swear I will build for this on God, my partner got killed, my partner got killed. Cause we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. Hey, we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'm gonna grind for this, I did time for this, I'm gonna shine for this. I swear I will build for this on God, my partner got killed, my partner got killed. We have emotion. That's why I ain't bragging and boasting. No. See, I got that axle nut. That's a 32 mil. Get that off. We're going to work with these here. Get them out. Uh, these are 24 millimeter nuts. Got my channel locks holding them on that back side so it don't spin. Now we can knock them out. I removed that 8 mil ABS sensor. That 10 mil. That out. Now we're gonna get to these bolts right here. One and two. Oh, those two bolts are 13 millimeter. Rack it off. Alright, I just pulled it out. Should be able to slide right on now. Matching up. Going back in. All right, we in there. Make sure when you put it in the transmission, you just take it and do that. So you make sure it's seated properly. You won't have to worry about the CV axle popping out the transmission. Add some bearing grease right here, some all purpose grease so it don't seize up. And you can put that little shim back on there. Went ahead and put everything back together. And now we're about to hit the driver's side. Let's get it. The driver's side is pretty much the same thing. Same procedure. So I'm going to fly through this. It's just a shorter distance to the transmission. And this is, this one we got to knock it out with the uh, a pry bar. Not supposed to be doing that. Got play in the control arm in the ball joint. That's what it is. I'm gonna show you. you can see how rusted out that is. That's what that grease is for. Tap that out with the pry, pry bar. All right, pull that out. Transmission fluid comes out. Catch that. Just like 
like that. Again, make sure it's in there. Add your bearing grease. And that's it for the driver. Yeah, man. All right, man. Till next time. Pull up, King.